What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. As always, The Professor here bringing you another video on how you are going to succeed in 2023 as we approach Q4. This is the most important time to lock in, start finding products that you want to run up. People are getting ready to shop again. Holiday season is coming up, so don't get left behind. Let's get right into today's video. But before we do that, make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe because I promise you the information that this channel is going to be dropping is going to be unmatched. Today we're going to be talking about the top ways that I find products to sell on my Shopify store and how you can do the same thing. I know this is one of the most challenging things that people face in this business. They don't understand what it is that they need to do to pick a winning product and finally make profit. Before we get started, to make you understand that I use these exact methods to find products just like this one. So this is on the month for a brand new store, around 8,000 on the month. We're projected to hit around 20, 25K this month. I rank these in order from five to one. Five being the last thing I would do and one being the most important thing I would do. Now, again, guys, there's not one way to do this other people are going to say differentiating things for me. Other people are going to say the same thing. I am typically not watching other people's content. So you have to understand this is exactly what I do. This can be used for low or high ticket products. It doesn't make a difference. But this strategy is very similar for both and in a lot of ways a little different, right? If you have a TikTok or Facebook product, those methods are going to be a little different than finding a Google product. But we're going to use the same strategy in terms of using a search engine like Google or TikTok to find what's trending, what's in season, what's really, really hot right now. So the fifth and most hardest way, in my opinion, to find products is tapping into your own creativity. Now, what does this mean? Well, you could scour AliExpress. You could think about what people really need, what type of product you can invent, right? Go to a supplier and tell them, hey, I like this product, but I want to change like this. The wheel is one of the sole reasons the car exists, right? The difference is we have to tackle more precise problems because so many things have already been invented and there's so many inventions already existing in an innovative society like the United States and like the world in totality, right? So here's an example. When COVID hit, the gyms closed. So what really popped off? Workout equipment, like resistance bands, dumbbells, that push-up board, right? People needed masks, thermometers, gloves. These things got really, really hot during COVID. And if you were selling them, you probably made a lot of money because people really, really needed these types of home workout equipments. So just to give you an example, here is the Google Trends for home workout equipment in the last five years. As you can see, when COVID spiked, the search volume went crazy into the millions simply because the gyms closed down, people were desperate, people wanted to work out. It's a very, you know, it's a hobby for them. I'm sure bicycles skyrocketed. I'm sure many things, e-bikes, a lot of hobbies probably skyrocketed during the COVID era. And that's because it solved the problem. People were bored, people needed exercise, and they wanted to take advantage, so they sold these products. Now, another good example of this is people living in dorms, right? One of the hottest products that I've seen right now is that electric pot cooker, right? I keep seeing viral videos. It's literally right here, as you can see, one of the most, one of the biggest growing TikTok accounts, Lazy Pot Noodle, has millions of views on every single video because they're so creative, they're so good. Now, each of these videos has millions of views, thousands of likes, comments, and shares. It's actually unbelievable. But as you can see, this product went viral. This person is probably making millions of dollars from this product, and it solves a problem, right? They targeted the right audience, people who don't have stoves, people who live in dorms, students, things like this, because you really have to link a unique product that does solve a problem alongside the customer who needs the product okay now the fourth rank is really what sells every season right every season happens every single year obviously winter spring summer fall doesn't really matter there's always products in each season there's holidays that fall into each season these products really tie in to what it means to drop ship right because every season somebody runs up it's the same exact product every time the row is bare there are so many products that people really run it up because it is such a cool unique product TikTok and Google are search engines, so you can literally put in the products that you want, or you can search the season and next to products, and you'll see what people are selling in winter. That's how good the search engines are. It will literally show you what people are selling for that season. So use those tools, search and find what you need. So a good example of this is heated gloves, right? People like to sell the electric gloves that heat your hands. It has over 40,000 people a month searching it in the peak seasons. As you can see in this Google trend chart over the last five years, 
Every winter, the search volume jumps. Every winter, somebody goes on and sells thousands of these heated gloves because every winter, there are people who need these heated gloves, whether they broke them or they lost them or they never had them. People are constantly in the cold needing these heated gloves. They have nothing to do with the holiday. It only has to do with winter time. People need this product and every single year, the spike goes up and it gets higher and higher every year because there are more people existing, more people shopping every year and more people hearing about this product. That is why it spikes every single season. Now, one of the now. third and better ways to really find products that are killing it are seeing what other drop shippers are selling, right? This is really good, but it's also really bad because people think they have an easy cheat code, right? They use different tools. Um, I see a lot of YouTubers talking about different tools. They always push these tools and they're great. Tools are absolutely great because it gets the ball rolling. It gets your brain thinking, okay, is this going to work for me? What's working for them? You could check out the other websites that people have, right? So one example is this random website that's selling the electric pot cooker. You can literally go to their website, scroll around five, five star rated products, best sellers, and just see what people are selling as their best sellers, as their different things, right? You can just keep scrolling endless websites and find more and more things that people are selling. There's no reason why you can't do it. There's no reason why you can't just keep searching products that you find and then going to websites that are selling other products as well and scrolling to the website until you find more and more products that are in season that make perfect sense for you, right? It's the easiest way. There are other tools that show you the best sellers of their websites. You can see what products are selling, maybe make or find a better product, a bigger, better version of the things that they're selling, right? Why is this third? Because it really does some of the heavy lifting for you. You don't have to do a lot of testing. You don't have to make the videos yourself. You don't have to pay for the videos to be made yourself. You can kind of see what other people are selling and then order it, make the videos yourself or pay to get the videos ordered and then test it. And it gives you a tiny head start in terms of what products you really want to test. Right, And that is one of the hardest parts about this business. The hardest part is having enough money saved up and then deciding which product you're going to use your harder money on to test to try to make more profits, to try to run your business. Right? I understand because I've been in this game for a very long time, over five years now, and I understand it is not cheap to test products. It's not easy. You've got to deal with account bans. You've got to deal with so many things in this business. And you, the guy wearing all the hats in this business, you're the advertiser, you're the video a creator, you're the person who finds the products, you're the person who runs the business, you're the person who does the customer service, who does the hiring, who does the sales. You literally do everything. This business is not easy. So one of the ways that I make it easier for myself is I get an idea of what's selling for other people. I go to TikTok, I see what products are going viral and who's selling those products. I sometimes use spy tools, but for me, I like to use the website tool that shows me which products are the best products or go to the best selling se section of any website and see which products are they selling. And then I try to find my own angle. I use that fifth point, that creativity to find my own angle of how and who do I sell this product to? Who needs this product most? Why do they need it? And how am I going to sell it to them? And again, it is as simple as just going to different websites, scrolling down through thousands of best selling products, using tools, different extensions that help you find products that people are already selling. Okay? You're just gonna scroll through endless websites, scroll through different categories, really find what's killing it. And now one of the second and most important things, especially for new drop shippers, is finding the most viral and most recently trending products. Why is this the most important? Well, it's gonna give you one of the best edges in this business. What does that mean? You have an edge because you see what somebody else already made viral. This is how I found this winning product that I just showed you on my phone earlier that's still selling. This is how you find products that are still in that phase where people are still trying to find a place, a trustworthy store to buy this product from. So you can easily tap in to this product by doing this. Now, guys, I want to make a point. The hardest part about this business is really finding a good product and making it go viral. The easy part for me is actually finding good products. The hard part for me is making the videos on my own, which I do not do anymore. It was something I tried at the very beginning stages of my career. I tried ordering products myself. I tried to do UGC style videos. I tried to go viral. I tried to upload thousands of videos. It just wouldn't work for me. I couldn't figure it out. It's something that is a serious talent. People get paid a lot to do that type of thing, to make brands go viral. And there's a very specific reason why, because it's hard. It is very hard to make them go viral. So what I do, what I recommend for you guys is find a trustworthy website, like my recommendation, viral e-com ads, it's been used thousands of times by a 
bunch of big creators. The owners of this actually do e-commerce themselves. They've done over 30 millions in sales, and this is really one of the best ways to run your business, especially if you're gonna be using video creators for TikTok and Facebook, right? They even have a VIP program where they have huge discounts on video ad packages, which if you are serious about this business, you need to know that you're gonna be making a lot of videos, whether you're testing or scaling, a lot of discounts on UGC ad packages. They even do revisions and they do delivery on the weekend. So they work very, very quickly once they have your product and they have customer support, which is very important to me. That is one of the most important things to me, somebody having a good support team. Now, as we scroll on their website, you can see they have video ad packages. You can, you can determine if you wanna do UGC style videos, which is somebody using the product, which is very, very effective on things like TikTok. And it's also not that easy to find very talented people to do UGC for you, which they do that for you. And of course, they also have animated ad packages. I have a link down below in the description where you can get some discounts and test some videos the right way with professional videos. So check it out. Now going back to the second highest reasoning, which is what is viral and what is trending. The real way to go viral is to have a viral video, right? This is what we've been talking about for the last two minutes. Now, when you go to TikTok, what you want to do is you want to really mold your account to seeing products. Every time you see an ad that's a viral video, not an ad ad that says sponsored, you want to find a video that represents an ad, but it's really a UGC video that went viral, right? Something like this. Now, this video is a great example because it's a product that fits a need. It's gone very viral, as you can see, over 340,000 likes, thousands of comments, thousands of saves, tens of thousands of saves, which is very important because people are coming back to buy the product and it fulfills the need. It has that viral aspect. It really ticked off every single box that we saw. And as you can see, people are obviously making money from it. So this is something you really want to keep in mind when you are searching for products like this. I TikTok account to find products and then I find viral videos from my For You page just by scrolling over and over and over again because that's what they put on my For You page and then I find a massive list of products and I cross-reference those products on Google Trends. I see how much keyword volume it has month over month. Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? And if it is increasing, I really like testing that product as opposed to one that's dying down or it's out of season. I'm sitting there all day interacting with ads, UGC ads from accounts that are selling products just to make sure I find the most next viral product that I can take advantage of and get my small piece of the pie, even if I'm just a little bit to the game. Now, the most important, the finale, what is the easiest, best way to find viral products, to find the best products, high ticket, low ticket. Is it trends? Is it virality? Is it scrolling endlessly through AliExpress and finding the product that nobody's found yet? It's actually that there is no secret, right? There is no secret, guys. The easiest way to do it is by combining everything, every single step that I've told you. Is it in season? Does it have keyword volume? Are people making it go viral? right? Does it have good reviews? Business is creativity. If you find a product you like, is it selling recently? Are other drop shippers selling it? Does it have a lot of keyword volume? Very important. This is one of the biggest things that I check if it has keyword volume as is the profit margin worth it? Once you combine all the steps, you are guaranteed to find a winner. That is how I found the one on my phone. I found is it in season? And even when it wasn't, it still was selling. Is it viral? Is the keyword volume jumping up because others are advertising it all over TikTok and making it go viral? If it checks off all these boxes, odds are you might be able to make some money from it and it's worth testing. It's worth paying for content to be made for your ads and it's worth your time. It's worth trying at the very least. If it doesn't fill all the boxes, what's the point? You're gonna be one, like one of these other guys testing random products that don't work just because you think it's cool or if you think it works. And I've done that over 150 times, 200 times, testing random products like these bicycle lights, like these random things that people don't really see all the time. They're not viral. Nobody cares about them. So if you don't wanna be that guy that's testing endless products, Go down the list I said, make sure it checks off every single thing because this business is already very hard. It is already very hard to go viral and find a viral product. That is why I outsource my things to people like viral e-com ads and that's why I use techniques and softwares to find products that people are already selling and then I see if they're still viral and I see if they still have keyword volume and then I cater my very gorgeous e-commerce store around this product. Now guys, I know you've probably heard many similar things to the things I've talked about in this video. I'm positive about it. But now it's time to really lock in. Make a checklist 
and then every time you look for a product, see if it checks the boxes off. Is it still trending? Is the season coming up? Is it worth my time? Is it worth my effort? Is the profit margin there? Right? Is it still viral? Are people still making it go viral? Are people still interacting with it? Are the comments good? Are they positive comments? Are people calling it a scam? Are they calling it BS? Right? This, this, that's negative, right? But if people are saving it, sharing it thousands of times, liking it, right? They're really interacting with it. Odds are they're buying it. And then if they are buying it, go to the dropshippers website and see how many times they sell it a day. Are they still selling it? What else are they selling, right? These are things that professional dropshippers or e-commerce experts are doing right now, right? It's not the easiest thing to creatively reinvent a product like the Scrub Daddy, right? It was a sponge that they reinvented, right? Or like the Snuggie, right? That was like a blanket slash hoodie that people sell over and over again and rip it off, but he reinvented something that already existed into something new. That is very hard to do. That's why I was fifth, but if you could do these things all together, right? And find a product that does cater to that, like an electric cooking pot for the dorm, that is a good example. However, if you're too late to the game, it's gonna be very hard for you to tap in, but there are so many products that are going viral every single day and how you are going to do the same thing. I really believe that you guys can do it. I want you guys to join the Discord below. It's only free for the next first 100 people that join. I seriously don't want you to wait at this opportunity. We're gonna be talking about things like drop shipping, e-commerce, Google ads, TikTok ads, life in general, business in general, right? And I want you to be a part of the community. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit like because there are more videos. I post things like product ideas. I post things like drop shipping guides, TikTok guides, Google ads guides, so many things that you're going to need in your business. So you do not want to miss out until next time, guys, professor X is out. Don't forget to check viral ecom ads in the description. Make sure to check them out. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy and stay blessed. Take this time to hone in, lock in and do what you have to do to make some money this holiday season. See you guys in the next video.